Hello, welcome to Cash Flow with Jason Waters. I'm excited to have Dwayne Canova with us today. Welcome, Dwayne. Hey, Jason, it's great to be here with you. Thank you for inviting me. I love, love being here today. Yeah, glad to have you here. We talked a little bit the other day prior to the show to kind of figure out uh, you know, what topics we want to talk about. It was a fascinating conversation. So um, I'd just love for you to you know, start off by telling people like what you do, who you are, where you came from, all that good stuff. Well, I'm uh, one of those guys early on that uh, got pushed into learning about technology. So I was teaching computer programming back in 1967 at West Point, worked with the first computerized war game there, went on to get my MBA at Wharton, was a teaching fellow there, teaching programming to the uh, MBA students, and worked with the first computerized business game. So from there, it's just kind of been staying in touch with the use of technology, how you use technology, and particularly in a business environment. So it's technology, processes, and the reporting that you can do with using technology correctly. Right. You know, that was one of the things that struck me when we talked the other day. So if you're someone that runs war games at West Point and business simulation games at Wharton, you got to be a pretty smart dude. And so I got to think that um, you know what you're talking about. So. Well, thank you for that. It's just, you know, it's sometimes you just happen to get an opportunity and all those smart guys that are around you are patient enough to teach you. So, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, tell me now, you're doing uh, coaching now and you have like a whole model, not just your coaching, but you also have like an executive leadership model. We talked a lot, you know, I have a financial company, um, you know, where we're helping on the finance side from, you know, how do you use your technology and then how do we put the right systems in place on finance? And that happens in marketing, but so many times it doesn't happen at the C-level. So tell us what you're doing around that. Well, part of the, part of the learning came is I actually built a, built a company and we started, there were just, you know, napkin drawings and discussions and we built it. When we got out quite a few years later, we had 3,000 employees in five countries. And secret to that, again, was how we use technology, how we use processes, and how we use reporting. And as I migrated from that, what I wanted to do was to start a private equity company and find companies that were struggling. And we knew that we could fix operations with technology processes and reporting. But I thought, gosh, we need the same kind of structure for the executive leadership teams. So that when you have 30 companies in your portfolio, uh, you really are managing the executive leadership team. And so we've put in place that very same kind of thinking of technology processes reporting, but specifically for the C level. Okay. Um, has, has that been out there before? It's not, it, sound, it seems so new to me from everything I've heard. Well, here's one of the reasons we know that it's uh, new is just, uh, just a couple of years ago, I decided that for our, our work, we needed to have the domain executive leadership system. Mm -hmm. And when you say it, that sounds like a kind of a normal good thing. Sure. But when I went out to get that domain executive leadership system, I got it for the base price because it had never been requested. So okay. that's when we had some inkling that this idea of executive leadership system, we were onto something new. And so now when we go into a company, another point to kind of qualify that is we go into a company and if we ask tell us about your accounting system they'll tell us the name of the technology for their accounting and then when we ask them tell us about the your system for sales they will tell us the name of the technology for their sales team then we ask them about their executive leadership system and they don't have a reply and sure. so we provide the reply we have the technology we have the methodology because all of those technologies are built around the methodology and our methodology is the framework for leading. I've written a series of books on that called the framework for leading. We use that to teach the coaches and then the coaches are able to then use our technology, which is through our company Zenity. And of course, Zenity is a, is a term that really is a contraction of synthesis and the word consinity, which together mean making harmony among the parts because key for the executive leadership team is to create harmony among the parts, get the sure. parts working well together. That's a key piece for the executive leadership team. Um, yep. And that can be a challenge sometimes. So it's good <laughs> for you to come alongside and help those 
folks. Um, and let me ask you this. How do you help those leadership teams become great? Well, well, first of all, we, we know this, that if you're going to become great at anything, it takes structure, it takes mm -hmm. discipline, and it takes guidance. And so we know that this isn't for everyone, but for that top tier of companies who want to get to that exceptional level, and of course, the book I've written is called Elite Executive Teams, to get to that, the structure comes with having a methodology, which is around the system. And then using a technology creates discipline of gathering information, putting it into quote right places. And then that allows us to use this information much more effectively. And so that's how we create that. And then the guidance is a co are the coaches participate with each member of the team, sometimes maybe only a half hour a week, uh, depending on what's going on. But the coach is always there engaged with what's going on in the tools and engaged with what's going on at the executive level thinking. Okay. So um, what if the coaches, they are working with every, like, do you work with like most of the CEO or everybody on the team? Like how does that work on, from a coaching standpoint? Yeah, we work with everyone on the executive team is the way we start in a company. Okay. And uh, that's, that's really the, the way we begin. And we want all of them to participate and it takes about three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. And so we do that first four weeks for free. And by the time we finish the four weeks, they're very eager to continue on with us because they're already beginning to see, oh my gosh, we're much more connected and aligned. We have a greater understanding of what the other people on the team are thinking about. And we even learn how they think. And that reduces some stress. And so once we get the executive team connected and aligned, then it, it makes it easier for the parts that they run to work together more effectively because we don't have that foundational uh, contention, I guess would be the word. Right. A lot of sense. What, um, what size businesses typically engage with you? Well, as small as uh, companies doing 5 million a year, but are growing pretty well. Okay. And then companies as large as 300 million. Okay. So, Wherever we have an executive team of three or more people, and um, that really is where we can start, and it's really around the size of the executive team even more than the uh, than the revenue. Okay, okay, and then um, I'm sure you have a lot of success stories already of uh, how you know from uh, you can probably measure ROI just on you know the return on investment from what they've what you, they've been able to, able to sell more or make more or so forth. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Because one of the things we put in place very early on, well, first of all, we have a series of three little uh, assessment tools. And the assessment tools just say, how would you rate your executive team today? And then the second one is, um, how are things going today in the company? And then the third one is, are you ready for the future? And so we do that within the first 60 days, we get those mm -hmm. answers. And then six months later, we come back and take those assessments and we can see that the attitudes and the feelings are improving. And at the same time, we begin to clarify significant KPIs that we can track that we know are being impacted by the adjustments in the executive team. So that's how we measure and keep track of what we're accomplishing. Great. Anything else you'd like the folks out there to know from a uh, leadership standpoint or running a business? And we've got a couple minutes left. Just want to throw it open to you to say anything, any golden nugget? Well, first of all, leading and managing and growing an organization is one of the most difficult things in the world to do. I mean, it is just not easy uh, because it takes not just great ideas, but it takes great people skills it takes the ability to begin thinking about what are the details we really need to focus on. And, the, and there are so many moving parts from the executive leadership team perspective. I mean, everything is moving. People are changing within the company. Things are changing with competition. Change or, things are changing in the general economic community as we have now in this particular uh, COVID world. My goodness, the challenges for the executive leadership teams are pretty dramatic. 
So when we hear of success stories and we hear of people continuing on for years with their business, that is a major, magnificent accomplishment. Great. Great news. All right, Dwayne. Well, thanks for coming on. Um, if, if, how can folks get in touch with you? Well, um, easiest way to get in touch with me is through LinkedIn. If you just okay. come into LinkedIn and uh, look for my name, Dwayne Canova, uh, you'll find me there and we get connected there, give you a little flavor for what we're doing. Our uh, company uh, uh, profile is on there as well. And I'm just uh, eager to connect and, and uh, be a part of as many companies as we can be a part of. Sounds great. Well, thank you again for coming on. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, you can reach me online at um, on social media at Jason Waters, um, hashtag cash flow uh, to find any of our shows. Uh, we're on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook. So check us out. There's a lot of good nuggets I think out there for you to learn how to improve your business. So until next time, stay safe.